This video was brought to you by Squarespace. Hidan is said to be an immortal character in the Narutoverse. We see in the fights against Asuma and Shikamaru that the guy is tough and that his religion sustains his life despite taking severe damage to his body constantly. So Hidan is not immune to everything. The data books actually state that malnutrition can kill him. Hidan is no longer alive. He perished in the hole he was buried in by Shikamaru. Which I do not like one bit. He should definitely be alive for eternity, sealed down there. It makes Shikamaru's fight and the final demise of Hidan much more interesting if Hidan is always alive to feel the solitude and the imprisonment imposed by Shikamaru after Hidan killed Asuma. But what if I told you that malnutrition is not the only way to kill Hidan? No, there are several other ways to do so and in this video we're going to be talking about all jutsus that could actually kill him. Let's start off by a very simple one to explain, the Reaper Death Seal. There isn't anything Hidan can do against that one, it just takes away your soul and you're gone. That's literally what the jutsu does. And if Hidan doesn't have his soul, then he cannot operate. You could even argue that maybe his body remains alive, his heart beating and his bodily functions working, but if he doesn't have his soul, he would just be a shell essentially and he would be dead for all intents and purposes. The next jutsu in our list is Amaterasu. We know Amaterasu consumes the target up until the target is completely destroyed. Hidan cannot regenerate. If he gets hit by Amaterasu, the dark flames will consume his entire body until he's turned completely into ash. And you could even argue that maybe he's still alive just like when he lost his head, but even if that's the case, where where is his consciousness? Is he thinking through the astral plane or something like that? Because his brain would be ashes, everything would be ashes. If Hidan gets atomized, there isn't much he can do to survive. <laughs> Technically, he just survived his fight against Asuma because Kakuzu sewed his body and his head back together. If they had collected the head and destroyed it somehow, Hidan would have died. If there's no brain, there's no container for your consciousness to be held on, so you he would just be gone. Amaterasu would do that perfectly. The next jutsu is Kamui. If either Kakashi or Obito manage to Kamui Hidan into the Kamui dimension, they can just leave him there and let him starve, just like Shikamaru did in another way. I know this is kind of cheating, we weren't going with this type of death, but I just figured mentioning Kamui here just to showcase how OP Kamui is. You can even kill an immortal guy with it. Before we continue, I would like to talk to you about today's sponsor, Squarespace, which is the place to to go to create your own website or get your own web domain. You can use the platform to build your web presence for anything you want. You can make a blog, a shop, a portfolio. They make the entire process of creating a website fun and easy, which is the most important part. You don't have to know code to create a professional website. You can choose from their countless templates or custom design the website yourself. There's so many options that you're definitely going to find whatever you need for your website and Squarespace. And because they sponsor this video, you get 10% off on your first purchase. So head to the link in the description below or head to squarespace.com slash Diagonite to enjoy that discount. Now let's get back to the video. We then get the Biju Dama. And you could say no, but Hidan has survived a fight against Masatabi. What do you mean? Of course he can survive Biju Damas. And I say, well, uh, if his head can get cut off by Asuma's kunai, then I'm pretty sure Biju Dama from the Nine Tails, for example, would deal substantial damage to Hidan. Even Orochimaru himself, when he was fighting the Four Tails, said, if this Bijudama hits me, I am going to die. And Orochimaru doesn't die very easily. As a matter of fact, he's much more immortal than Hidan is. Are you gonna tell me that Hidan can survive the Bijudama blast of the Ten Tails that can be shot from a continent away and destroy several cities at once? Because he's getting atomized by that. There isn't a single bit 
parts of his body that's going to survive that explosion. If paper bombs, we can see Shikamaru using paper bombs to deal substantial damage to Hidan's body. And you can see the Shikamaru explosion that Hidan suffered there. It wasn't terribly huge. It was a bunch of paper bombs, but it wasn't anything that blew us away. Now, you look at the Bijudama explosion. There is just no comparison here. Hidan is not surviving that. The next thing that can kill Hidan is the Totsuka Blade. And I know a lot of people say the Totsuka Blade is the most powerful thing in the Narutoverse. And other people say it's fodder. I kind of fall in the middle of those two camps. I don't think Itachi can beat Madara using that. But it is a very impressive sealing tool. One tool that if Itachi hits Hidan with it, Hidan is gone. What can Hidan do here? He's just gonna stay there forever inside of the stupor realm of the Totsuka Blade. And you can even say, well, technically he isn't dead. He's just sealed. But is there a difference really? Hidan is never getting out of there. Sure, Orochimaru technically survived the Tosuka Blade, but that's just because Sasuke kind of grew him out of Anko. Orochimaru's part that was consumed by the Tosuka Blade is lost forever. There is nothing he can do about that. And the same thing would happen to Hidan, but Hidan doesn't have a Horcrux-like thing to survive like Orochimaru did. The next Jutsu we have is Particle Style by Onoki and Mu to a certain extent. Particle Style literally disassembles the body of the target into atoms. It's a Keke Tota, a level beyond Keke Genkai. It's three nature transformations combined into a single jutsu. An extremely powerful jutsu that can atomize even Susanos. Onoki is able to one-shot 25 Susanos in the fight against Madara using Jinton, or particle style, at once. It's absolutely OP. If Hidan gets hit by that, he is disassembled into dust. And yeah, maybe his consciousness going to be around, but I don't see Kakuzu being able to sew him back together like he did with his head because he would have to collect every single molecule of Hidan's body and I don't think that's feasible, man. Another jutsu that kills Hidan is the Human Path. It's basically the same thing as the Reaper Death Seal. You take Hidan's soul away, killing him in the process. Maybe his body remains alive, but he doesn't have a soul anymore. He's just a husk. The Human Path is extremely OP and I don't know why more people don't use it. Maybe the Naraka Path would have the same effect, pulling Hidan's tongue out of his body. I don't know if that would actually kill him. I think that's doing something to the soul because the same kind of devil thing appears when Naga to use the Rina Tensei Jutsu. So maybe that's doing something to the soul, but I I'm not so sure about that one. Maybe that doesn't kill Hidan. The next Jutsu in our list is Gudo Damas, the truth seeking orbs. They function more or less like particle style, but they're much more malleable and more powerful. So Hidan would be completely atomized by good old damas. The night guy would most likely destroy Hidan as well, turning him into mush. It's just too powerful for Hidan. His body would get absolutely destroyed into a thousand pieces, so that's as good as him being dead. The same thing would apply for Datara C0 and also the C4 Karura, and that would be even more elegant because Datara doesn't have to sacrifice himself to do it. Using the C4 Karura, Datara would be able to destroy Hidan with his micro explosives turning him into molecules essentially just like he did to Sasuke in that Genjutsu. Yeah, it was a Genjutsu, it didn't work, but Hidan wouldn't be as smart to dodge that Jutsu and he would be completely destroyed by it. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments down below. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my content and like this video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching.